Alright, so after your Vagrant Up runs successfully, hopefully, you'll see OK down here, shows you change, there'll be zero failed tasks. And next thing we need to do is gulp watch. So let's just come into our Sage theme and then gulp watch. And after that launches, browser sync should pull up your local URL. If you're unfamiliar with Gulp, it's basically compiling all of the JavaScript and SAS files into minified assets. Oh, 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 what do we got? Alright, so our local development environment has fired. We can go to 3001 to look at browser sync. And on here it'll have your proxy. So you can also check out jackalope.dev. And when you want to log in, you just do slash wp. I guess you'll do slash wp slash wp admin. That'll redirect you. When you're local, it just automatically sets it to username's admin, password is admin. And WordPress is already installed, database is already connected. Super simple. Ready to go. Jaren's got a little bit of a issue we should troubleshoot. Um, my site pulled up WordPress and his did not after Gulp Watch. So I'll just have you go to open up another tab and go back to your etc. host file. That's usually the first place we'll check. What is that one? So back out all the way. Then pseudo vim. And etc. hosts. Okay, so this is uh, what, what we were doing originally. Somehow, did you launch Geronimo Call again? Mm -hmm. Huh, just go into Geronimo Call and delete those. All of those. Do double D for deleting a whole line. How's it coming? Oh, this is it's complicated. And then oh, escape, yeah. save it and quit. So, yeah. try refreshing it, see if it pulls when I might need to vagrant up again or something. Oh, cool. So that did it. That's uh, something you always need to keep in mind if you're having problems with local development. Just check that etc. hosts file. Because it's usually two IPs that are trying to use the same if you have more than one local site installed in your host. So, we're good. All right, so now that we're in our WordPress site, we uh, come to the end of our installing Trellis and Bedrock post right here. So we're going to go back to the project blueprint, and we're going to go to priority number two, which is deploying the staging environment. So we're not going to move on until we get that stage done. So open that up. And the Roots Project's made a lot of adjustments in the past month or two simplifying this process. So there's actually a lot fewer steps than there used to be. We're going to start out, if you haven't tied your SSH keys into your GitHub, then 
you want to log into your GitHub and tie that in. Have you done that yet, Jaren? No, Have you ever sure. tied your SSH keys into GitHub? Nope. Okay, so click that link that's in step number one. And go back to your etc. or not. <coughs> Yeah, go back to where you have your SSH keys. So do uh, cd catch all command dot SSH and then do uh, cat, uh, then do IDRSA dot pub. Yep. Copy that. And we're going to go into new SSH key. Name it. Do you name it Jack of IOG or something? Um, no, I'd name it ID underscore RSA. Oh. And then in parentheses, maybe put iMac. Paste it, add SSH key, looks like I had it saved, cool, so that's just GitHub telling you successfully added. Alright, so now that Jaren has his SSH key tied in the GitHub. We're going to reconfigure the WordPress site's YAML file, but this time it's going to be in the staging folder. So come back into Atom and go and do staging. Go into WordPress sites, YAML. We're going to do the same thing we did before. So swap out. Um, example.com for your I would call it like your end domain name so in this case it's jackalope.io and then you might want to pull your digital ocean account up again go into your droplets Grab your IP address again. And we're going to paste that right on line 8 right here where it says staging.example.com. Yep. And right, step 4 update the GitHub URL to your project's URL. So, one easy way to do that is go into your GitHub. Just right click on your project and view on GitHub. And then right here uh, you can get the HTTPS URL or hit this drop down and go to SSH and grab that remote URL right there. We're going to replace that with line 10 right here. Make sure it has the dot .git at the end. And that should be it. We're going to try that out. I think that's the minimum amount required to provision and deploy the staging environment. But in step five, you can see some more documentation linked to the remote servers and deployment. You just find it there. So one more step we have to do is go into host staging. And we're going to add our IP address there or domain. But we're using the IP address here. So go to hosts, staging, and where it says your server host name, just replace the IP address there under both of those. All right.
now we're going to go back into our etc host file so back out to that and just do sudo vim etc host okay you can see here I have just a standalone IP address sitting here uh, that's what's required when you want to just deploy it to an IP address so you just paste it in there and then you're just gonna escape out and right quit so you can put it above your Like that. Yep, then just right quit it. Alright, so step five it says follow these instructions and uncomment out the deploy hook. If you click on these instructions, it's linking to line number four in the build before deploy hooks. Okay. So if you just open up this URL under these instructions, it'll take you to the build before under the deploy deploy hooks folder in trellis and if you look at line number four it says uncomment uncomment the lines below and replace sage with your theme folder so I'm gonna find that in Adam it's under deploy hooks and grab build before and we're gonna just do any everything starting on line 7 and below it and you can do command backspace to just uncomment it save it uh, that's for when you're using sage if you're not using sage but you are using bedrock then you might not need to do that alright so after we get the deploy hook uncommented we're gonna go back into github we're just going to commit the changes, so um, I'm just going to type ready to provision and deploy. Uh, 